American Idol Season 10, the New Orleans auditions. Yeah, the good ones. All right, Jordan Dorsey. I liked his version of Over the Rainbow. It was a very smooth smile. I think he definitely has top 40 potential. Uh, Sarah Sellers, To Make You Feel My Love. I personally am getting sick of the song, but she did a really good job on it. Um, she kind of really shone uh, her voice really, uh, you know, in the middle part in the bridge and stuff. Uh, she has a very huge upside. I think she's top 40 with potential for more. Uh, Giovanni Barreto, the, you know, the, uh, the Cuban Jim GTL, Jim Tan Laundry guy, uh, he's saying in Spanish, pretty good. Uh, he looks good with his abs, but what's his name last year? Did really good with abs too. So who knows? I forgot his name, but he finished like third or fourth or whatever. Uh, Jacqueline Dupree, I stand by you. Um, she's not going to go that far, I don't think, in my personal opinion. Uh, kind of twangy, not really connected song stuff. Um, but, I mean, decent. Obviously, she goes to Hollywood. Uh, Bla uh, Brad Lowenstein, this guy, all right, the the flaming, the Sean White of American Idol. You know, 16 years old, singing Bohemian Rhapsody like that. Almost kind of sounded like a little bit of, like, Jason Mraz, almost a little bit. He's got a star voice. Um, uh, really has potential. Um, he's weird though. All right. So he, it's, it's kind of like the clay Aiken factor, you know, like a redhead that's kind of weird, but you know, could just sing the, the crap out of whatever. I, I think he's top 10. I think he's really top 10. Um, just that, uh, JC Badeau, the, 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 the cool little 15 year old dude, um, uh, very similar to Justin Bieber. Um, it, <laughs> I wrote down a horrible note. It says it looks like he ate him too, but you know what? Uh, who, should, who am I to talk? I'm. I'm I, it looks like I ate him. Yeah, uh, J.C. Badu uh, or three Justin Bieber's. But he's very, very, very good potential. Um, I worry that if his voice changes, you know, fifteen-year-olds sometimes are late bloomers. But uh, you know what? If if it still changes, so it's just a little bit lower, more power, whatever. That's great. Uh, definitely top forty for sure. And uh, Paris Tassin, uh, this girl, it reminded me of how uh, uh, Kevin Skinner from America's Got Talent last year really connected with a song. And if she can do that with like everything she sings, man, she's going to be really good. She can go all the way up to the top ten. Um, but it, she has to be able to connect with each song she sings or else she won't go that far. Anyway, that, that's that. I will see you with the bad ones, and then, uh, you know, we so we only, I only got to review, like, seven people out of 37, so, because that's what Wikipedia said, because I actually had to look it up, how many golden tickets were given out. So, peace out, Girl Scout, bye!